she offered a demon eye as well. I'm like, dude, I yep. mean, I guess Roxy wasn't taking it seriously, but it's like, oh, Roxy, you could have gotten power up too, but yeah, I guess there's a chance. Yep. All, all, so it's too easy for Roxy and not, not Rudy. Hey, she's not the MC. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay. Only for MCs, sir. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Isekai Podcast. This is the Mushuku Tensei Weekly Review. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello! And we have Ku. Hey, hi. All right, so this is the final episode of... For now. First season, part two of Mushuku Tensei. Got a lot to say. Yes, for now. Actually, I should mention, too, there is an OVA that is coming out. I don't know if it's canon or not. We so just don't we'll know when, see. either. Yeah, that, too. So we wait to see what happens there, but Can't this wait. is... We've been waiting all year for this, for this finale. So, again, you know, shouts to everyone who's been commenting, shouts in the YouTube comments and Discord. We had, we've done so much discussing and analyzing, so this is this is the moment here yes. to wrap it all up. Thanks, everyone. So, Thanks for the discussions. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully, you continue yeah. to watch us for our other shows and our other uh, our other things we'll be doing. Go yep. listen to us, whichever. Yeah. Shameless plug, because we got Demon Slayer going on right now, and then we'll finish up uh, Attack on Titan final season when that airs as well. So oh, look God, forward to right. that. I forgot about that one. <laughs> yes, yes, of course you did. Mm-hmm. So, so let's get started with this because you know we we left off last week with you know Rudy being depressed. He's still depressed, you know, pretty much this episode. But we got to see, we got to see you know Eris and and Galen, like in the beginning, kind of just conferring, you know, like they're on their adventure, like and also you know Eris showing that she she does love Rudy and like she she felt like. You know that that incident with Orsted, because like, I know you were saying how like you know this episode like foreshadows a lot. So I mean, this instance like we did see like she did feel you know like this episode like she felt really bad that like she couldn't do anything, e- even if it was like someone as strong as the Dragon God. She still felt bad saying stuff like, "Oh, I didn't think we would actually die." So that's what led her to go off her journey. Yeah. So basically, um, you know, if you guys remember, which I assume we do, Eris isn't the best when it comes to words, right? She's still somewhat illiterate. So this kind of confirms that she didn't leave him because Rudy did a mistake or made a mistake or whatever, right? Like it wasn't really because of his, because of him, or I guess it was that she left, but it was just because, you know, she felt like she was so useless to the party that she wanted to stand out on her own. And that's why she left with Galay. Okay. So yeah, yeah, unfortunately though, with the letter that she left Rudy, um, it left them in a depressed it says otherwise. <laughs> yes, it says I mean, otherwise. I mean, it's anime. Misunderstandings always happen. Although, I was actually thinking that she... Uh, when she left, I didn't think that she was, like, being Rudy or anything. I thought she, it was more of, like, for training herself to be better to lead her to her people or, like, her kingdom. I thought uh-huh. something like that. I didn't think it'd be directly tied to Rudy himself, saying that she wants to, like, be stronger for Rudy. Yeah, well, right. she, said it, she said it. She said it during her monologue when she was with Galen. Yeah. When she was like talking I know, about. I know this. I know this yeah. episode. I'm saying it last week when. Oh right, right. When last she, week, yeah. she told that letter. I thought. I thought she was initially doing it because she wanted to protect like her people. But I. But she, she mentioned here that it's mainly it's mainly for Rudy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, which was you know I was wrong because I thought like oh they're definitely gonna go on a mission to find out who did who was actually the cause of all this and as of right now it's uh, for what we know it sounds like I was wrong. So uh, strike one for me this episode. Right. But we don't know exactly what they're doing or where they're going. We just know that they left on a journey. They didn't tell anyone else. And right. Eris's goal right now is to, uh, you know, match Rudy in a sense when it comes down to being powerful or like, you know, useful yeah, in a fight. Right. So Actually, I, I was wondering too, like, because if she's got trained with, with Ghislaine, is Ghislaine stronger than Rougeard? Oh, dude, we I, know. We know power levels. Who knows? But I, we, I don't. But I don't think we. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I know nothing. I don't. Know. Okay. I, uh, from what, what, so, I, what yeah. I thought we saw, I thought Glenn was way stronger. But then that could have also been because Rudy was way weaker at the time too. Okay, I, I rate the level. Like Glenn's, like she's not a saint. Like she's the one above it. Like king Short level. King? Yeah. And she's sword king. So. But that was like yeah. way, way back. So she might have, you know, went up a tier. What, or got a little rusty. What's above, <laughs> what's above sword king? Is it god level or? Uh, I don't remember, but um, okay. I'll look. I mean, it doesn't quick. really matter. I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, thinking about like their journey. I'm wondering if if they're gonna try find a, another mentor for uh, Eris, or if she's just gonna train with with Glee and just keep honing her skills. 
Mm. Yeah, just get just get out your scouter and we can just check uh, to see what the power levels are. Yeah, so so King is tier five out of seven, and next after that would be Emperor, and then after that it's Scout. Oh, okay. So she's okay. she's almost almost at the top. Yeah. Almost, I guess. Okay. Oh god. There's always somebody stronger. Yes, yes. Always. Okay. But it, so, so. The, so we got like all that part, but then uh, oh, it kind of cut up with the Rudy's previous life a lot. Like, like right around the beginning, uh-huh. we saw like a brief period of Ares and Ghislaine, but then it cut right to that. Where it mm, actually seemed a lot like of this episode, yeah, so. dude, I was actually shocked like that he actually stood up for himself as much, or actually just others than you know what we've seen before. He tried, but he did he try, tried. which is a lot, which is a lot yeah. more than a lot of people do. Right, where, right. Because you know they basically just had a, just the just three douchebags that just sit there and just gets cut in the lines, and then you know he just calls them out and gets beat up because of it. And apparently it was enough to the point where they tied him outside naked. Yeah, I know. My God, started this whole ordeal. So yeah, Yeah. dude. The one thing I didn't expect was like how how awesome his parents actually were. Wait, like how like supportive were like you know we're gonna get the school like we're we're gonna we're gonna get get those kids out of there. And then his mom seemed really supportive. His dad even too. Which before at the beginning of the show we didn't really see that because we kind of just thought like I mean we knew he was like a shut in but we didn't know Uh like besides that like how bad his like his personal life was at home. Yeah, which was it seems so, like you know supportive. So I want to say that uh, in in actuality, I wonder if they're trying to like show that Rudy's family in both worlds was actually very kind of uh, supportive. Yep. But uh, you know, Rudy gave up in it's the life him, before, yeah. right? But this time he's going to take a different path and actually walk forward, and that's what they're trying to like uh, leave as a metaphor, like towards the end when yeah. he. Walk past the gate in a I sense. Th- I, thought really there. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah, that I was thought, really good. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Like when it comes down to character development, like it it really shows that he's he's basically like gone to the next tier, right? In terms of his character. So you, hopefully you see him as a more mature, more uh, somewhat um, like competent person, right? Yeah. So I mean, uh, so yeah. it, I mean, it was good that we get we do get backstory on like his previous life because again, like. Mm-hmm. Other isekais don't do this, so it's like, you know, it's just like, I just feel it's always an important part of the character, because otherwise you just end up being, like, a stand-in main character. So, mm-hmm. so it's important to show that, and then, yeah, it's important to show the stuff that was being left out, so that was good, too. And then, and, like, and then his parents, too, like, so it's not just, like, this whole thing where, like, you know, his life just totally sucks and everything, and out to get him. It's like Kusa, you know, like, he, he did, like, he did give up because, like, he couldn't, like, face his fears of like, leaving his room. And then also to, to like towards the end, because because the whole thing that happened in like middle school or high school, right? But then like he died when he was like thirty four, thirty five. Yeah, he was a shut in for quite so, some time. So so like so yeah, there was like that period. I think he had like a younger sibling saying like, "Oh, can we give food up to the person who lives upstairs?" So I'm just thinking like he had a younger I mean, brother or sister that he just uh, never got to meet. <laughs> So, I mean, in like, honesty, I, I don't remember exactly who it was, but I, I mean, if anything, I think it was like uh, a relative. It wasn't really like or, his immediate oh, family. Or, Never mind then. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering, like, because like, I mean, yeah, the the whole incident happened when he was school, but he died when he was 30s. I mean, I guess his parents were trying to be supportive during the whole time, but you, that was, that's still like a long gap between like the incident and also like how long he's been a shut-in, so. When Rudy commits to the shut-in life, he commits. Yeah, I mean, it, it like, is what like, it is, right? So it's, it's, it is rough to see. That it took him this long to kind of get over it, but you know, people deal things in a different way. At least he didn't, uh, yeah. you know, go towards the the drastic route of suicide, right? Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it just goes to show that you know some people just need a chance or needs that that spark to have them choose a different path. Oh, so, push, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like all this does make me more sympathetic. It's just like it's it's always hard to remember this when he's being like his selfish, pervy self. Like it always. Gets me out of it, so but that's why he goes to the like, gates now. We're gonna see a more mature of him. This is where we see the beginning I, of why from the comments where I they mean, say everybody hope, everybody yeah, gets a simp over him. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Hopefully. That's I mean, it. we see we seen him, uh, you know, like fall back on it like several times. So yeah, hopefully, like this this is a turning point for him, and like, I hope so. He does be more mature. Mm, but, yes, yes. But we and then kind of switching switching gears, we got to see we got to see Rougeard. And what the, what's happened because of all the the talk that's been of the the spirits where they everybody was actually yeah. hyped when they saved him, nobody was scared. They're yeah. like, and then basically it's... they're saying, huh? Well, all these stories were completely wrong about. And then when when we were kids, and then they were all you know just reflecting on what Rudy did for them. This was during the time with Aries as well. Yeah, but it was, so, I, I mean, already missed Rougeard, man. It was, 
<laughs> it, it was it was brief, but I mean, it sounds it, yeah, it sounds like uh like like Kitogami was saying, the curse is starting to wear off on the spirit. So, yep. Roger will be so, just fine, but we won't. And then I mean, and, and you see you see these the cuts that uh, different like back and forth with like all the people who has like his statues. So mm-hmm. we'll see that. So I assume like. I'm assuming like, later in the future, like when we eventually see like Rudy as an adult, like we'll see like more and more people be less afraid of the of the, the superiors, and like it's because of the statues and stuff. Yeah, and the 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 like the was it the the loosening of the curse in a sense or whatever. It... Yeah, I mean like the, this, it wasn't like all because of the statues. It, it helps because it helps spread the story of what Dead End yeah. did, well, right? I and mean, then, yeah, yeah. I mean, then, well, I mean it's, uh, like it's it's part of Rudy's like contributions, and like the statues right. like a really. It's like a physical part of like his contribution, so it's a good thing. To right, see. it's a good visual thing to see. Yeah, so so far this is more of just an epilogue and setting yourself up for the next arc, and then you're seeing like all of like Dead End's uh, work come to fruition. You know, so curse being undone, nice. like you're making progress to find a family. Um, you know, like everyone's going towards their training arc in a sense now. Um, and yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty sweet to see like everything that's happening right now. So I think I think overall this this might even though like I was kind of disappointed last week with the pacing of the show, I'd want to say this episode kind of makes up for it with how they wrapped up the season. I thought it was very and, well, uh, very well done. Yeah, so yeah. I totally shocked, totally surprised, but it was a nice surprise. So hopefully was, everyone I mean, else I, enjoyed it as well. I was gonna ask later, I guess I asked it now. Like, so was this all? This is all canon, right? Was this like? happening right after like the last thing where they just go back and forth between all this or is this like i'm gonna be honest with you i don't really remember the details but this is all canon like everything in the curse is what happened yeah so you get to see like how it's the next story is going to be set up why characters going to be where you get to see what the characters currently are it it just felt like it was because it was jumping around a lot and kind of felt like i don't know Mm -hmm. like is the way they told it, you know, the original source were like where we're jumping between all these different perspectives, or they just like took bits and pieces and try to put together for just for the anime. But well, in a light novel, still... in a light novel, they tend to jump to different uh, characters' point of views. But then oh, you know, okay. it is it, it is a novel, right? So it, yeah. you can only use words. <laughs> I mean, no, I I still like I still like it. So I was just wondering yeah. if this is the format they followed. I just figured this. Uh, it was just kind of showing everybody's like current state, like of what was going mm-hmm. on, kind of like what like how everybody changed. Where you also yeah. got to see uh, Zenoba, just still just going off with that, just one figure. Mm-hmm. I also noticed he was in the snow. I don't know how where like how common the snow is or or where that is, but you know that was close I mean, to where the dragon god was. I, I don't know if that's it. Maybe. It might be just oh, yeah. thinking like, oh, snow. I, I know this. They Quince, were there. I, I, yeah, I, 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 it could be easily. <laughs> I didn't think of it that much, but okay. Yeah, I didn't either. But like, I'm trying to like guess when more of the show because I've just gotten everything wrong, <laughs> <laughs> or just about everything wrong. But Geese was traveling in the desert. Yep. So, so it definitely shows like uh, yeah. of all these characters, like they're just spread out. Like it seems like nobody's anywhere close to anybody. I, w- even, I even wonder if he's because even Rougeard was in just grassy fields. So again, everywhere well, he, he just left. I felt like I felt like he just left like Rudy's hometown. So hmm. or well, he's still like, on the central continent. I guess he's still on the central continent because he's only going by by horse or horse and carriage. So I can't imagine he get that far. It depends on how long like the time span has been since uh, when he, they first kind of split up at Rudy's hometown, and then they go to Aries's place. Then basically, who knows how long Aries is, or Rudy's uh, been depressed? I guess so they, they do mean, kind yeah. of jump around with a time, uh, jump skip jumping time. around, jumping around with the time, and also I yep. still like don't know the geography of this world as well. So yeah, we gotta just have like that map up full time. That's what I'll do for you know for the next season. I'll have um, the full map yeah. instead of like where we have the image. Just have the map. <laughs> I'll, I'll just, I'm gonna say real quick about Geese. Like, I wonder because you mentioned a Paul. He had some info, so I thought at first it's gonna be about Zenith, but I wonder if it's something else. If he, it's like when he's crossing the desert. So I wonder if we're gonna see more of him showing like like where he's was going and if he's gonna meet up with Rudy later. Well, it just seems so. like Geese's whole part. His or, point is he's an informant in a sense. So it's that's his yeah. job. That's his role. Yeah. I completely forgot about those two monsters, the monster guys that they saved at the beginning of the first season. Or, sorry, the end of the first season. Or yep. first part. I first, like, oh, yeah, damn, first I forgot about these guys. And they're still spreading the word of Dead End. Yep. Good guys. I don't know if they're spreading the word, but... You know. They're, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're doing something. There's going to be people who, who've encountered them, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there, there you go. And then yeah. R.I.P. The, the, the third guy that died. I forgot what it was. I think it was a bird or something. Something like that. He wasn't, he wasn't worthy. Anyway, okay. yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But yeah then we got yeah. to see Roxy. Yeah. Roxy with 
Kish, was it Kishrika, the demon lily? Yes. I probably yes. just I'll, I'll never. I will never remember that name. So yeah, I, I always call her Demon Lolly yeah. from Slime Tensei or the Demon like, Empress. <laughs> Go with yeah, we'll just I'll we'll just call it the Demon Empress for now. Yes. The one that's always broke, always like carefree, getting into trouble, yeah. getting bailed out by people. And she shows and, up. Uh, she she uh, she shows up and bails out like the story in a sense to be able to move forward. Yeah, she's like the the <laughs> the, the prophet that you would have to find in all the JRPGs hitogami. to tell you where to go next. Yeah. Right, it's like a Hitogami, so, but. In the world that everybody can see, right? Dude, right. I mean, she's a pretty convenient character, but whatever. Uh-huh. She has a point. That's fine. When when they first when uh when Roxy first bailed her out, and then she she said like, "Oh, I grant you any wish," and then mm-hmm. Roxy said like, "Oh, like you know, like the whereabouts of like Rudius Gray Rat." I was thinking, no, of everybody you could have picked, why him? But then she ended. But then she ended up like showing like all their locations. Oh, like, yeah, I was like, oh, I was... thank God. I no, no, like, she's she the family she, of. She said the family. Oh, the family of. of? Okay, I just read yeah, that. Just so, like yeah, no, yeah. Well, <laughs> like she, she offered a demon eye as well. I'm like, dude. I yep. mean, I guess Roxy wasn't taking it seriously. But it's like, oh, Roxy, you could have gotten power up too, but yeah, I guess there's a chance. Yeah. All, all. So it's too easy for Roxy and not not Rudy. Hey, she's not the MC. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Okay. Only for MCs, sir. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, that was it was important. That she couldn't find, like she, like you know, for someone as powerful as a demon empress, mm-hmm. she's using her eye. She can see every now besides Zenith. So there's there's something like, some sort of like barrier or something that like that's blocking even like a demon empress magic from seeing where Zenith is. Yep. And she says she's like in a, a labyrinth city. So like that all automatically means someone someone's lost or they're trapped. Yeah, it seems like yeah. it. Yeah, it it, def- it just really so, like, showed that like they you know like. She's underground somewhere, so there are like it looked like almost like an ice cavern in a sense with like a frozen dragon. Mm. I mean, I'm just saying like it's very suspicious that they like that like some like a demon empress magic couldn't see through that. So that's, I feel like that's gonna be an important detail yeah. for next time. Well, it's everything's like, important. Probably... Guys. Yeah. Well, everything I mean, is important. Well, the, the whole thing too. I'm, with, saying, with... I'm, say, I'm saying like that that specific <laughs> detail is like what I remember. So well, with his mom too. That like that we, we kind of knew that was gonna be like the next arc. Well, we just kind of kind of figured that that was, I mean, it was uh, leading to that at least. I was yeah. I was thinking that that uh, no, because last episode last week I thought that Paul would be the one who goes save Zenith because oh, it'd be like, yeah. more of like an emotional thing for Paul, yeah. and I, I figured that Rudy would go find Sylphie because he has more connection with this oh, yeah. childhood friend. But that's probably gonna happen first. So, but now it seems like Rudy really wants like he's now now he's set on saving Zenith. You know, like of all the build up of this episode, where you know he gets out the gate and stops being stops being depressed and goes out to save Zenith. That's one thing I, I kind of um, thought as disappointing, where because I think this basically confirmed that Rudy will be the one to find his mom. When I kind of thought like, damn, that that had like a really good chance of just like how you said, David, with uh, with Paul, because Paul has basically spent was it like was it this entire time years. looking for her, and or, then yeah. only to have Rudy find well, her when uh, find well, her when I he mean, just he... find out that she's missing. <laughs> Right, because Rudy, Rudy found like he found um uh I forgot the wife's uh, the maid's name already. Lilia and Lilia, Lilia and Aisha, Aisha whatever. Yep. Yeah, he found he he found them before Paul, so that kind of sucks for Paul. So it's like even more if Rudy finds Zenith before Paul does. So feels bad, man. The only thing uh, I, I can uh, think uh, of... again, it's it's plot armor and plot devices, so it's not really Paul's fault, right? If he had the man just, God giving him Vince. I, well, I feel for the guy, <laughs> but, but um, but the only the only other thing is like if because um because right now Roxy is the one that has like the most info, so right. she, she could send the info to Paul first, and then Paul could get there first before Rudy does, because Rudy's basically going off nothing. Could be so. one could be one of the situations where Rudy gets there when basically Paul and everybody else is fighting or wherever they are, and then it's gonna have like a yeah. just a giant reunion clash well, type actually, of deal. We, so, so he doesn't want to find Zenith, but he could actually he could still just maybe like maybe he'll maybe the story will take him to Sylphie first, and then that'd be like that like he'd be stuck there for a little bit, and then then when he has to go to Zenith, I think maybe that's when when Paul that's when Paul will like will make his way over there with with Roxy. Yeah, Lilia was fine with Rudy finding her just because I think the there was just a bigger connection with finding Zenith or Rudy's mom. Yeah. And it was so I just really like, was really hoping that Paul could have had like his own kind of moment to you know go on that side story in a sense and then just have yeah, that's what, that's what I want. Sophie. Yeah. Which yeah. which you know, it it's it's whatever, but it feels kinda of bad. I feel real bad for Paul. But really the last thing I have to say, like Sylvia looked weird. I, I like whatever glasses she was wearing, like it just seemed like some some intense shades. Her also, voice uh, changed a lot too. I mean oh, God, did, yeah. like she was like 
I mean, I know they were younger, but she's probably like what, like same as Rudy now, so thirteen or whatever, thirteen or fourteen. But like, I felt like it's the voice changed a lot. Quite but a bit. so, it's, yeah. and then I guess it looks like she's in the school. So I, I guess I don't remember they mentioned that. Bef- like, if she went to a school at the same time that Rudy went off to go with Eris. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's why she didn't get transported. Who knows? You guys are making a lot of speculations with no info given. Oh, yeah. I had no idea who who she was I talking mean, to, where she was. What, what, we, what we do, sir. She's, I mean, it looks like she was like, a, I mean, it looks like she was talking to like a either student council or something. And like, because they, because some guy was saying, oh, like some, this kid is incantation this and he's just like Saint Saint Magic by time is five. Sounds unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Right. So. She's into some top end thing. Right. Yeah, and if yeah, you I guys see. and if you guys have extra time, uh these characters actually showed up before in a previous episode. So oh God. um <laughs> there is like you know, there is some connections here and there. So that might uh, help I, you out a little bit. I like try to figure out who they are. Right. But yeah, no, this is the second time that they've been introduced to the show, and I thought it was oh, a pretty badass way to end the, the show because nothing has been confirmed, but if, if you know, you knew. Like, you just know. So. Damn. And then yeah. you get the final scenes of basically just uh, of uh, Rudy just walking into just a storm or a snowstorm where, Zindu- where uh, the, the figure guy is. They will meet. I'm just saying they're both in snow. That's all I have to go off of. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Right. That's I, mean, I just want to say the very last, like after the ending credits, the very last scene, like because usually you do like the, the music and then the the next episode title. Mm-hmm. It was the music and then it was thanks for watching. It's like ah, oh, feels yeah. bad, man. Yep. Just felt just felt it. And then I was really hoping. I think all of us were hoping for the, just like that next season announcement right after the episode. And we got nothing. But that's okay. We have the I OVA. Mean, we have the OVA that will I that mean, will do that. I was being I was being realistic of like of the production issues are having with oh, delaying sh- it by whatever, season. Dave. Whatever. I was being realistic, so hopefully the next year we'll get the announcement. Hopefully, like, this was, like, successful enough, and then, like, the people in charge are like, hey, we want another season, let's let's start planning, let's get everyone ready. Hopefully it gives them more time, because they had to delay the second part, so. Things should be a little Mm -hmm. bit better, hopefully. You hope by that point. I mean, you hope, but, like, the anime series are just, I mean, busy, so the only good thing is maybe, because, again, you keep hearing how this this studio is made for Mushoku Tensei. Mm. I feel like that's, like the, that's like the only thing they're doing. Yep. So, well, hopefully, you know, COVID is not nearly as bad as it is now, and things can kind of go more, uh, more right. Hopefully, because mm. it's already a disaster, so no need to harm it even more. That is about all. You want to just wrap up your overall thoughts on the series in general? Yeah, I mean, it was still solid. It 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 was like a. I mean, it was still solid from the like the like the beginning to the end. Like it's just, there was really no. I mean, we already kind of said about where my thoughts at least were for where it was where it wasn't necessary. It was obviously the etchiness stuff, but then I even thought they toned that down a lot for like for the like the second half of the second season. So hopefully that kind of keeps following the same ways as we go to like the third, fourth OVA. Even though I, I'm assuming OVA is going to be probably just full of it because that's usually what happens with the OVAs. If they have a chance to drop it, and if it's if it's if this ends up being canon, I'm sure they'll find somewhere to put it. But other than that, though, I mean, all the characters were really like, like, really likable. Could never really tell where the story was going, and it was just, just solid. Nice. Um, for me, I'd say I've been saying it a lot, and I still say it. it is still like my favorite isekai. Oh yeah, I think so. It's, uh... But but uh, but at that same time, so my favorite isekai, definitely like a uh, top tier show. But I cannot recommend people because of Rudy. So rude. Wow. Rude. Like yeah. Okay. Like. Even because just because the beginning part, and even the all the character development that he gets, and like the changes we saw now, like I know if, if I try to recommend this to other people, like Rudy will like will turn them off. Like, especially like the people I know, like who's not into like like Rudy's behavior really turn them off. Like it's hard to recommend it to them. David, that's why it's, it's it's a shame that we like that. David, we're all, it's hard for me to recommend this. We're all those degenerates that you speak of, and we love it. I mean, no, it's I'm definitely, not, it's definitely not meant for people who are just getting into anime. Oh, yeah, or, you like, definitely have just to know. Watch just strictly or, mainstream stuff, right? Like, if you watch, people, like, people, Hero, people uh, Hero Academy, uh, or this probably isn't for you. Or if you go from death well, I mean, like, to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, but, or yeah. people who like, were picky, picky about their anime. It's like, it's hard for me to recommend this. So that's a shame. But <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I'll say, just thinking back to um, the first season, just like just the first couple episodes where we're in the isekai world like just like the animation was so good like like when you're seeing seeing the world like i don't know like what what it like because it looks like some some filter or whatever but it just it looks so good like 
like especially like you know like when we, the first two episodes were like you had like the super good looking modern world and then you contrast it with like the, the isekai world they're in like mm -hmm. just that contrast was really good rudy like learning how to cast spells for the first time the animation was super good the, the music was like on point for like like i love like the just how like the intro they just they there's no like there's no no like the anime op it's just like just play the music do the montage she's play like like that was like just perfect for like the beginning of every episode so i really enjoy that and they change it up too a lot so so really appreciate that so just going all out for just the animation production so i really appreciate that and also um i mean fight scenes were good like foreshadowing was really good like just so much good payoffs in the writing so again that's why it's like my favorite isekai so just a lot of good things for the show super excited um i i do want to read the original source later i don't want to have time but like it's it's on my list i read a lot of like the isekai web novels so i i so i'll definitely read which we say just gotta find the time for it i would say for recommendations you would have to know what they're into first like if they're in that if they're like johan i'd say go at it you'd love it yeah that one i would feel very positive that yeah you're gonna like the show i feel like if you're open-minded and you just like uh, Isakai's in general, definitely fantasy, give it a shot. Fantasy, comedy. Like you, you definitely have to be okay to some edginess, right? So some, some fan service. If you're not aware of it or you're not like accustomed to it, definitely going to be a turn off for you within the first few episodes because they mean, make it well known. This is going to be like uh, like a reoccurring theme in the show. It's not even so. that. It's just, it's just Rudy. Just like, I don't know. Just something about Rudy just like really like, like, takes it too far. It's, right, which is which is why I change. said it. hope for the change. Right. Which is like which which like compared to like other edgy stuff, like I don't know. I feel like it's just like it bothered me more in in Shuk Tensei than it did other series, mm. and I feel the same way too for other people. Like I don't so. think so. I thought it got better. I thought there's, like it, there you know they focused less on it, but then there was more serious stuff happening. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is definitely some bouncing that needs some tweaking, but again. Uh, you okay, know, we've been, it's not often. So. We've been told by uh, Ku and some other uh, other views as well that he does mature more. So we'll yeah. we'll see if that. Man, we'll see I, if that he doesn't actually grow it's, up, right? Like this is no, this is why I need. <laughs> this is why. I, okay. I know, like I said, I, I get it, but that's why I said it's 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 hard to recommend to mainstream people or people who are just getting started into anime. But then if you're okay with the idea of fan service or like a level of etchiness, and you know you're into like fantasy, isekais, or you know whatever, I'd say it's definitely worth a shot. Um, like. For a person who watches all sorts of like fantasy and isekais, it's it's a ten out of ten, right? But that's because I'm accustomed and I like like the themes that they're showing you here. Yeah. But if you're just a normal viewer, this might be like a solid seven out of ten, just because of certain topics, right? You got the whole like perverseness of like Rudy. You got the whole like age things I mean, that was, people aren't okay with. It was so. just really bad in the per in the first like part. So right, it's and then like better. I said, I understand, yeah. So, so it does get so better. That, 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 that's just my like main thing. It's like again, it's like that. It's not the etchiness. It's just Rudy. Like, but if that really bothers you though, then just read the just read the, the the original source because I feel like with the whole anime ordeal, if you more. wanna if you wanna draw people in, you gotta do some throw in some fan service. They right? think so, they do, but they really don't. Need right. To, right. I don't know. I don't know about that. Because no, this it's a lot worse here than it is in a in the web novel. Like I, I realize that in the web novel, it's or in the in the original source, it's it's not as bad as it is here. Like maybe it's because okay. it's animated, but they're kind of just throwing that's, it in your face compared to like the original. Really source. Really weird decision, but okay. Hey, Miracle right. Chama. Yeah, that is what it is. Look what happened? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes, that too. <laughs> Kua, if you want to give your thoughts, especially compared to what you knew when going into this, dude, like ten out of ten totally worth it like mine was blown animation voice acting seeing all your favorite characters come to life oh my god i could not wait every weekend i was waiting for this every weekend guys <laughs> like you have no idea i'm so glad it came out and you know uh you know i did have some kind of like uh some hesitation as to if i would like it or not with the pacing towards the end or second half of the show but um yeah, this last episode just really wrapped it up well for me. And it just made everything feel okay. You know, like everything was going to be okay. Yep. And I definitely can't wait for next season, you know, with the uh, the last uh, scene that you saw, uh, like after the credits. You know, it's definitely showing you, like, what's going to happen in the future, right? Like, which character is going to be introduced, maybe. Uh, but yeah, loved it. Loved everything. I, I just can't wait for season two. And again, 10 out of 10. Uh, definitely, if you haven't seen the show yet, 
I don't know why you're here, but definitely give it a <laughs> shot and uh, see if you like that it. You too. know, right? That too. The OVA is yeah. the OVA is on the way as well. Right. I remember that one. And then and then uh, like I said, there's tons of side stories, like you know, like 0.5 chapters. So they have a lot of material to work with. And then you know they could easily go off of like different characters, right? Like. Eris and Ghislaine's story, you know, they can definitely go over like what they're going to go through as Their an journey. OVA, right? You got Roxy's story, you got Paul's story. I mean, maybe Zenith's story. I don't know. There, there's so many, like, there's so many materials to work with that, you know, I'm sure they could pick something and, it, and it'll all be canon. I can't imagine them not making something that's not canon, to yeah. be honest. I got really nothing else. Right. That's it. So that's the Perfect. journey yeah, ends no, that's, here. That's, that's <laughs> journey for now. Ends here. For now. We'll it for now. Like, yes. we will hold up. I mean, I say hot hope. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get another season. So, I mean, why would we'll you have a studio dedicated to this and you're just, you're just gonna cut it off? <laughs> yeah, I am gonna buy the doll, the Roxy doll. When it comes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to support these guys, so that hopefully others do as well, and they make enough to say, hey, it's worth like green lighting the next season, right? Like, I really hope they animate the whole source, but we'll see. I have Aries and uh, Roxy coming figures. Oh, so. mm. they yeah, coming. Yeah, sure. so. So yeah, we're getting it for here. So thanks everyone for joining us. It's been a long journey. We started this off in the winter. Didn't feel like it was I don't know, I didn't feel like it was, it was that long ago, but it was it was this year. We've been doing this for this year. Fast. So very fast. Even with the delay. Any, yeah. Any yeah, yeah. Here. yeah, yeah. Thanks for uh, all the comments as well for like all the new subscribe or the the new so, like, subs we have the new listeners from the was it from the beginning to the end thanks for like, sticking around with us hopefully we didn't uh, do too bad of a job for you guys but like how we also mentioned before at the beginning we do also we do other ones as well demon slayer uh we're, we're also gonna be doing it, attack on titan whenever that comes out and then we're, there's also a few other ones that we're gonna be doing of just like the animes in general with just like uh was okay avengers i would love to do one of osama ranking that one i really want to do but uh we have yep. some other future ones planned as long as some yeah. quizzes the hell yes. of it. Yes. So a lot of things. A lot of things we're it. still doing. Look and the Discord. It. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we'll look talk. forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. We're not so no more Tensei. We'll hopefully you enjoy our other stuff. So for now. thanks friend for joining us. For now. We'll see you later. Till next time. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.